Hi everyone, welcome back to Ladensa Crochets. In this tutorial, we're making this awesome chain halter dress that I hope you're going to enjoy making. If you do, do not forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe if you're not subscribed in order to join the family. If you want to get notified every time I upload a tutorial, click on the notification bell. I'm using the following materials, a uh, medium weight yarn. This is a Kenyan brand called Winter King, and this can be replaced with any medium weight yarn. This is an acrylic yarn. You could use acrylic or cotton, whatever yarn is available to you. And then I'll be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need at least two stitch markers, a tapestry needle, tape measure, and you'll also need a pair of scissors. So I'll just get my pair of scissors right here. So get these materials and let's get into the tutorial. The measurements that you're going to need, uh, the first one will be the waist measurement and I'm working a waist of 26. So you'll take the 26 and add 2 inches to get you to 28. So whatever waist measurement you have, you add 2. So mine will be 28 and then I'll divide it by 2. When I divide the waist measurement by 2, I'll get to 14. So my starting chain will be an equivalent of 14 when my chain is slightly stretched and that represents the waist of the dress. Then you're going to need the hip measurement and I'm working a hip measurement of 38, which again, I'm going to add two inches to get me to 40 and then divide it by two and that will be 20. So that means I'm going to increase from the waist till I get to 20 inches in order to achieve the hip measurement. So with the hook and the yarn, we begin with a slip knot. And then I'll chain 40. The chain that you're going to make should be something that you can divide by 10 or a multiple of 10. For a size small, I'm going to start with a chain of 40. If you're a size medium, you could start with a chain of 50. If you're large, go to 60. If you're extra large, 70 will be okay for you. So I'm going to do 40 chains. So I have my 40 chains and I'm just going to measure this to see where it gets me to. It should be something that is close to 14. It doesn't exactly have to be 14. It could be 13. It could be 15. So when I measure this while stretching, it gets me to around 14 inches, which is exactly what I'm working with. If you're working with 30 and you've divided it by two, if you give it a, a bigger stretch, it will get you to 15. And that is why I mentioned that for a size small, 40 inches will be okay. Because when you slightly stretch it, it goes to 13. When you give it a slightly bigger stretch, it goes to 14. When you stretch it out completely, it goes to 15. And that means this can fit someone with a waist of 26, 28, and 30. So I just placed my last double crochet into the last stitch and I have a total of 42 double crochets. Next, chain one and turn to begin row two. We begin row two in this very first stitch with a single crochet. Then into the next stitch, a single crochet. That is, place, put your hook into that stitch, yarn over, grab a loop. You'll get two loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through the two loops. Next, we're going to chain eight, eight, after the eight chains, we're going to count eight stitches, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then put our hook into the ninth and do a single crochet, then a single crochet into the next stitch, for a total of two single crochets, then chain eight again. Skip eight stitches and work in the ninth stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into the ninth, place a single crochet and a single crochet into the tenth. Then chain it again. Skip eight stitches and work in the ninth. work a single crochet then another single crochet 
at this point you should have 10 stitches remaining girls so you're going to chain eight now if you started with 40 chains you'll have 10 stitches remaining if you started with 50 you'll have 20 so you'll have to chain eight and then because i'm in the end i'm going to place two single crochets into the last two stitches so this is the second last stitch right here place a single crochet into it then a single crochet on top of the chain three stitch that you started with for one like that and row two is done we're going to chain one and turn to begin row three for row three we begin with a single crochet in the first stitch a single crochet into the second stitch chain eight then work in the single crochets so two single crochets in the two single crochets that we have from the previous row and that is what we're going to have then you're going to chain eight again skip over to the single crochets and place one single crochet into each of the two single crochets chain eight skip over to the single crochets and place a single crochet one into each stitch chain eight then place a single crochet into the previous single crochets at the end that's row three done we're going to work row four differently with an increase because you want to increase in order to hit the hip measurements after the 40 chains we're going to, to add one more chain to get us to 41 then we're going to hold the 41st chain and chain three more and this chain three acts as our first double crochet then you yarn over and go into that chain that you're holding and place a double crochet now this increases our stitches by two so if you started with 40 the number of stitches that you're going to have will be 42 if you started with 50 your chain your stitches will be 52 so those are two double crochets then you're going to yarn over place the hook into the next chain yarn over grab a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through the remaining two for that that double crochet then place a double crochet into the next stitch yarn over put your hook into the chain grab a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then keep going with the one double crochet into every chain at the end you should have the multiple of 10 stitches plus two so that is 42 52 62 72 and so on So just one double crochet into every stitch chain one and turn to begin row four begin row four in the first stitch and into this very first stitch we're going to place two single crochets so one and two into the next single crochet we're not going to work any stitch but then we are going to increase the number of chains from eight to nine so now chain nine then work in the next single crochets into both of them again chain nine skip over to the single crochets and place one single crochet into each of them chain nine then skip to the next single crochet and the next when you get to the last chain you're going to chain nine then after chaining nine we're not going to work into this very first single crochet we'll skip over to the last one and into that last single crochet place two single crochets for that increase at the end then that's the end of row four chain one and turn to begin row five row five will not be an increase row so we begin in the first stitch with a single crochet the next stitch with a single crochet we previously chained nine and because they're not increasing we are still chaining nine four or five so chain nine 
skip over to the single crochets and work one single crochets one single crochet into each of them chain nine then single crochets where the previous single crochets were chain nine and repeat to the end so at the end we'll have a single crochet one into the single crochets at the end one into each of them one and two that's the end of row row five which is a row that has no increase next we're going to work row six and row six is going to have an increase we begin with a chain one and turn then we're going to start in the first stitch with two single crochets into the same stitch then we're going to chain 10. then work single crochets in the middle where the previous single crochets were two of them chain 10 Skip over to the single crochets and work two of them. Chain 10. Skip over to the next single crochets. Then chain 10. And then for the last single crochets, we're going to work in the last stitch and we're going to work two of them. That's row six done. Next, we're going to do row seven with no increase. So chain one, turn. Start with two single crochets, one into each of the two single crochets. So one and two. And because we're not increasing, we are working the same number of chains that we did in the previous row. So chain 10. Then the single crochets and repeat to the end repeat the pattern to the end remember at the end because you're not increasing each of the single crochets will get two single crochets we'll get just one single crochet so we're going to work a single crochet into this stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch the chains are 10. that's row seven done we're going to work row eight with an increase so chain one and turn to begin row eight begin with a single crochet two of them in the first stitch then we're going to chain 11 we add 10 so we add one to get to 11 then work the next two single crochets one stitch into each That's 11 chains, then the two single crochets, chain 11 again, work the two single crochets, chain 11, then you're going to work into the last stitch now and place two single, two single crochets into that last stitch. And that's row eight done row nine is going to be a row with no increase and so chain one and turn and work a single crochet in the first stitch a single crochet into the next stitch then 11 chains and this is a pattern that you're going to repeat till you hit half of your hip measurements i want to get to 20 right now let me show you where i am at so this is how you measure your hip measurement from this end to the other end and as you do that you're going to give this a bit of a stretch 
so when i give this a bit of a stretch it's getting me to 14 and i want to get to 20 so i'll just keep increasing in alternate rows till i get to my 20. so you could uh, i'm at 11 chains you could go up to 15 up to 17 up to 18 up to 20 depending on the size of your hips so i'm chaining 11 and then two single crochet so i'll just keep going till i get half of my hip measurement and then i'll be back to show you what to do next this is what i have after how many rows this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so i'm in my 18th row and the chain in between the chains in between are 15 to measure this just place the measuring tape at the beginning at this point and then without stretching it's at 16 when i give this a stretch it goes to 20 inches which is half of the hip measurement that i'm working now from this point we're going to work without increasing till we get the full length from the waist down uh, to the point where you want your dress to get so this one is like the skirt part at the back part of the dress and that's why we're measuring from the waist down so now we're going to chain one and begin the next row so if you've not hit your hip measurement just keep increasing the number of chains and also increasing at the beginning part so chain one and turn and then work a single crochet in the first stitch in the second then my chains are 15 and i'm going to be working with 15 chains to the end So 15 chains, then work the single crochets, two of them, then chain 15, then skip over to the single crochets and work the two single crochets, chain 15. work in the single crochets chain 15 then work the two single crochets at the end chain one and turn to begin the next row which is our row that was 17 this only 17 or 19 whatever row it is begin with a single crochet and a single crochet into the next stitch then chain 15 and then i'll just keep going until i get the full length so these rows are the same to the end Once you've gotten to your desired length for the back panel, you're just going to cut off the end, then you're going to chain one and pull this end that remains after cutting off the end. And there you're done with the back panel. I've done a total of 130 rows in order to get me to my full measurement from the waist to the, to the bottom. And this is a length of 43 inches. So let me show you how to measure. Remember when you're measuring, you don't stretch out your work. So I'll just get my measuring tape and do the measurement from the side, this part, from the top part right here. And without measuring, uh, without stretching, that is getting me to 44. I mentioned that I wanted to work 43 and an extra one inch is not bad, it's quite okay. And therefore, after 130 rows, I have my back panel ready and I'm ready to do the front panel. Now, to do the front panel, you consider the total number of stitches that you've ended with at the bottom. So like in my case, I have the chains are 15 chains each. So I have a total of 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this 4 multiplied by 15, that will give me 60. 
As for the single crochets, I have one, two, three, four, and five. Five multiplied by two, that is 10. So I'll take the 60 that I've gotten here plus 10, and that will be 70. So 70 chains is, uh, 70 stitches is what I've ended with and what I'm going to use to work the front panel. That is, will, that will be my starting chain for the front panel. Because now for the front panel, we're going to work from bottom coming up. If you want to work this as a skirt, you can do two pieces of these completely the same and then join them. Now, the reason why I'm working from the bottom coming up for the front panel is because I'm working a halter dress. So, work this panel and join. Work another panel like this and join if you want a skirt. But if you want a dress, you can work, work like me from the bottom coming up. So, what I'll do is there's this stitch marker that I placed right here. At the end of the increases and this was after 18 rows so i'll take 130 minus 18 and that will give me 120 rows so that means the number of rows that i'm going to work from the bottom to this point where i have the stitch marker is 112 so do that for yours and then we work the back panel for my back panel i'm going to start with 70 chains and i'll start with a slip knot we are working the front panel from the bottom up so that's why we've counted the the number of stitches that we had in the in the back panel so start with my 70 chains or whatever number of chains you have at the end of your back panel so that's one once you once i get my 70 chains i'm going to chain uh, one more while holding the last stitch this one right here chain one more then go into that stitch that I'm holding and place a single crochet Then place a single crochet into the next stitch and then chain 15 So I'm chaining 15 because my last chains were 15 if yours were 20 you're going to chain 20 if they were 17 you'll chain 17 if they were 18 you chain 18 so you're chaining that number of chains that you had at the end of the back panel so then after that i'm going to count the number of chains that i've, I've done which is 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we have 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 then into the 16th stitch that's why i'll put my hook through and do a single crochet then a single crochet into the next chain then chain 15 again then skip 15 stitches that's 10 we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 into the 16th stitch. Place a single crochet and a single crochet next. Chain 15. This is the last chain, the last 15 chains, and therefore I have 17 stitches remaining. So I'll just keep and work single crochets in the last two chains. One single crochet into the second last and one single crochet in the last chain. And that's my row one done so then we're going to chain one and turn to begin the next row and this is going to be standard all the rows will have 15 um, chains so start with a single crochet a single crochet into the next stitch then the 15 chains or 20 or 17 whatever number of chains you're working mine are 15 Then we're going to have the single crochets, then chain 15, followed by the two single crochets, chain 15. Then we're going to have two single crochets next. Chain 
15 15 then work the last two single crochets at the end chain one and turn to begin the next row and the next row is going to be worked like the previous row just starting with a single crochet a single crochet into the next chain then chain 15 and I'm going to keep going with these rows till I get the total number of rows that I have from the stitch marker on the back panel to the bottom. So let me do that and I'll show you exactly what I mean. This right here is after 112 rows of the front panel and I'm ready to reduce in order to get to the waist measurement. And so let me show you. So this is the, the back panel. When you place them side by side, like this or one on top of the other now it means that we have this part to work not this one when i place them on top of the other this is what i'm going to have this is a back panel and this is a front panel and therefore that means I'll need to reduce the front panel in order to get to the waist measurements just like for the for the back we had increased because we worked from the top for the front panel we are decreasing because we worked from the bottom so now I'm going to work 113 with a reduction my chains are 15 so depending on the number of chains that you have you'll just subtract one for the first reduction in the chains so that means previously I had 15 chains. For this next row, I'll be doing 14. So I'm chaining one and turning to begin row 113. Then I'll begin with the two single crochets. And now chain 14. Then skip over to the single crochets and do the two single crochets. Chain 14 next. Then the two single crochets and repeat to the end. I'm at the end of row 114 so i'm going to chain one and turn because we've reduced in that row the row that follows will have no reduction so the chains will be 14 and i'll do this row 114 the my 114 row then i'll be back so that we can do the next reduction At the end chain one and turn to begin row 115 and row 115 is going to be a reduction row so our chains previously were 14 they're going to be 13 so start with the two single crochets then chain 13 then move over to the single crochets So this row is going to have the 13 chains the next row will have 13 the one that follows will have 12 then 12 again then 11 11 10 10 9 9 then 8 8 i'll stop once um i have eight chains in between because i'd started with the eight chains on the top part of the back panel so stop once you get to the chains that you started with to the eight chains because we all started with the eight chains
I'm done with the reduction and done with the 130 rows and that gets me to this point before the double crochet row. Now for this double crochet I'll not do a double crochet row instead I'll do two rows with the chains two more rows in order to get to the top part so I'll just chain one and turn <coughs> start with two single crochets in the one in the first stitch and the second one in the second stitch so one and two then I'll chain eight work the two single crochets chain eight work the two single crochets chain eight Chain one and turn and work the last row with the chains. Once you're done in those last two rows, you're going to chain one and then cut off the yarn. We're going to, to attach the two parts to form a skirt before we work the top part in order to get to a dress. So cut the yarn, then pull through and fasten. And we're going to have the two pieces side by side with the wrong side, with the right sides facing each other. So get the front one, place it with your right side facing. So this is the right side, this is the wrong side. Then we're going to have the other one on top. This is the wrong side, right side. So the two right sides should face each other. And now we're going to connect the two pieces from the bottom part. So from this point in the first row, in the first single crochet of the first row, and the first single crochet of you can call it the first or the bottom row like this then get grab your yarn then reattach the yarn like this and chain one then put your hook back into that first row and do a single crochet into the second row and the corresponding row on the other side join with a single crochet into the third and the third on the other side join with a single crochet then the fourth and the fourth row on the other side do a single crochet and continue working the single crochets while joining the corresponding rows till you get to the upper part of the skirt or till you get to the waist <coughs> when you get to the double crochet row that row should get two single crochets one single crochet on the second last single crochet on the other side then the last single crochet will be aligned with the last single crochet on the other side 
then you're going to chain one and cut that yarn because you're done with joining that side so after joining this is what we have this is the wrong side and this is the right side so then we're going to go to the other side of the skirt and join it too beginning from the bottom in the in the first the very last row or the very first row and the other row on the other side so you put your new hook through the first and the first on the other side then grab your yarn and it attach it right there then chain one you could work over the tails as you go over the ends these ends or you can first attach and then you can work over them at the end, once you're done you can weave them in once you're done so i've just chained one i'll go back into those two stitches and do a single crochet then in the next row and the next row on the other side attach with a single crochet and then keep going till you get to the top part So the two panels are joined together and we have our skirt. It's a maxi skirt. So these can be worn like this or you can proceed and do the upper parts in order to create a halter dress. So I'm just going to turn this to the right side. And then remember the part that has the double crochet is the back part. The part that only has chains is the front part. And what you're going to do is count um, 10 stitches from the middle part right here. Here we're going to have two single crochets and therefore I'll start counting from here. I'll count 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 then mark that 10 stitch then again move to the other side and count 10 stitches we are counting from the point where we've joined and we are counting on the back part the part that has the double crochets so So I'm marking the 10th stitch on that other side. Then you want to turn your work from the side that you're going to work from. And I'm going to work from the back part on the inside part. We are working the halter, halter top in order to create this into a dress. So now from this point, I'm going to reattach the yarn on this stitch marker. So start with a slip knot. Then put the hook in that stitch where the stitch marker is and pull out that stitch marker so that we can reattach the yarn i'll do that in between the stitches so in between the 10th and the 11th stitch that is where i have reattached the yarn then i'll chain one and go back into that stitch with a single crochet and then in the next stitch in the gap between the two double crochets i'll place another single crochet then chain eight then i'm going to skip over to the middle part and in the middle part i'll do two single crochets in the stitches that are right there so we have this and we have the stitch the stitch on this side do a single crochet and the stitch on the other side a single crochet for the two single crochets and that gets us to the front part where we're going to chain eight then skip over to the single crochets do two single crochets chain eight then two single crochets where we had the previous two single crochets chain eight 
place your two single crochets chain eight that takes you to the middle part or the joining part where we have a single crochet on one side we place a single crochet on one side of them of the middle uh, of the joining and a single crochet on the other side of the joining like that then we're going to chain eight then that takes us to the stitch before the stitch marker so in between right here place a single crochet and a single crochet in between the, the other two double crochets and we do not need the stitch marker anymore that's our first row of the top part of the dress then you're going to chain one and turn start with a single crochet and a second single crochet then chain eight work the single crochets chain eight work the single crochets chain eight then work the single crochets next chain eight single crochets chain eight work the next single crochets chain eight then you're going to have your last single crochets at the point where you joined the yarn the last two single crochets right there that's row two done we're going to chain chain two chain one and turn to begin row three and row three we'll going we're going to work it the same way we worked row two and you're going to work a total of 10 rows so i'll work 10 rows and then i'll be back to show you what to do next so your 10 rows you're working them without increasing or decreasing I've done a total of 26 rows instead of 10 like I had mentioned and I've done this in order to achieve the top length. Top length is measured from the waist to up to above your bust and mine is 13. So that means when I measure this while I'm stretching a little bit, it's getting me to 14 and I wanted 13 but I can work with 14. So the length that you're going to work here will depend on your top length. Measure the top length from the top of your bust to your waist. And now at this point, we are done with the dress. So this is the back part of the dress. And this part here is the front part. Now we're going to do a chain on this side and another chain on the other side, which will be the strap that we'll use to, to tie the dress on top of your shoulders. So start by chaining three and then turn. That's our first double crochet. Then you're going to yarn over and place a double crochet into the next single crochet. Then you're going to chain three. Go in between the two double crochets and place a double crochet right there. Chain three. In between the two double crochets that you have, place a double crochet. Chain three. Do a double crochet in between. And keep going till you get the strap length the strap does not have to be too long because it's just for tying around the neck so let me do my chain then i'll tell you how many rows i'll have done to achieve my strap I've done a total of 25 rows and I feel like this length is enough for my strap. So I'm just going to chain one and cut off the yarn at that point. That strap is done. 
then pull through fasten do a knot on that end and ensure that the knot is very close to the stitches then cut the end that remains but don't cut it too close to the knot just like that one strap, strap is attached so we're going to go to the other side on the inside part start with a slip knot reattach the yarn on the first single crochet on this side this one right here reattach the yarn and chain three one two and three that's our first double crochet place a double crochet into the other single crochet then chain three double crochet in between chain three double crochet continue to you have 25 rows or whatever number of rows you've worked on the other strap At the end, chain one, cut off the yarn, pull through, fasten, knot, and cut the remaining end. And now at this point, we are done with the dress. And you can go on weaving the ends that you have hanging around, and then you'll be done. So thank you so much if you've stuck around to the end of this tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And if you're not subscribed, kindly subscribe and join the family. And see you in the next tutorial. Bye.